After just 11 years in the business, Grand Design has become one of the most successful manufacturers of fifth wheels and travel trailers. And now they've announced they'll begin manufacturing motorhomes in 2024. And for the first time, you can find Grand Design RVs on Camping World lots, but not in the way you might imagine. I'm Jason Epperson, and it's time for the latest in RV and camping news. This video is sponsored by Camp Life, makers of this awesome t-shirt. Living the Camp Life makes the entire country your living room. That freedom and exploration is something I love, and I love it when I find others who share my passion for the camping community. So I'm excited to tell you about the Camp Life Gear Shop. They just launched a line of t-shirts and hats that celebrate the joy of nature and the unique camaraderie found between campers. But here's what sets the Camp Life Gear Shop apart. A portion of every purchase goes toward sending kids to camp to create memories that will last a lifetime. When you choose Camp Life Gear, you're joining a community that loves the outdoors and believes in giving back. If you're ready to show your love for RV travel, shop the collection at shop.camplife.com today. It's in the description. RV Miles fans get 20% off with the code RVMILES20 at checkout. Winnebago CEO Mike Happy made the announcement during the company's Q4 financial results conference call that Grand Design will start building motorhomes next year. Grand Design RV was founded in 2012 and was independent for four years until Winnebago acquired it in 2016 for half a billion dollars. Winnebago, which also owns Newmar, is one of the largest manufacturers of motorized units overall. So it's probably no big surprise that Grand Design would move in this direction under their ownership. And from the folks I've talked to, they are well down the road of producing the first Grand Design motorhome. This has been years in the making and rumors have been swirling around about the move for a while now. Winnebago is just confirming it. They say that Grand Design motorhomes will be different and complementary to the current portfolio of Winnebago and Newmar brand motorized units. Between Winnebago and Newmar, the company holds around a 20% total market share in the motorized segment. And they believe that the addition of Grand Design motorized into the business strategy will help increase that number. And they don't think it will cannibalize their existing motorized revenue. So that all tells me that these units will help fill out the overall lineup, which I doubt means we'll see any Class B camper vans from Grand Design, as Winnebago's pretty flush on that front. I doubt we'll see ultra-luxury motorhomes, as Newmar covers most of that. I think these will be squarely middle-of-the-road motorhomes in price and quality, and I think we'll only see two or three different models. I think a Grand Design Super C would be cool. Regardless, they anticipate showcasing prototype models to select dealers in early 2024, with shipments beginning probably around the model year changeover that happens in late summer. So it's coming up pretty quickly. But there's another big change afoot at Grand Design, and it's not one a lot of owners are going to be happy with. A relationship with dealership giant Camping World. Camping World has been rolling out these manufacturer-specific locations that are actually branded with the manufacturer's name and not Camping World's and you can find a Grand Design branded store now in Green Bay, Wisconsin, right across the street from a traditional camping world. It just opened about a week and a half ago. There you'll see Grand Design signature travel trailers, fifth wheels and toy haulers, and sales and service experiences that are tailored directly to Grand Design ownership. But Camping World is a controversial name amongst many RV owners, many of whom have shared terrible experiences from both the sales and service side. And though folks from the manufacturer side don't like to say it out loud, they're not big fans of Camping World either. Grand Design has always strayed away from Camping World, even though a small amount of Winnebago's, mostly motorhomes, are sold on their lots. It's my understanding that Camping World stores were not even authorized Grand Design warranty repair centers. But that all seems to be changing. This could partially be the effect of Camping World's acquisition strategy. They've been gobbling up independent dealerships and small chains around the country with the intent of doubling their footprint in the next few years. When they buy out a dealership, they also buy out that dealer's contracts with a manufacturer. And that's why you'll also see some brands like Alliance on select Camping World lots. Even brands that might prefer to not work with Camping World at all are being forced to. They're already far and beyond the largest dealership chain with over 200 stores. And they've just announced the acquisition of 12 store Southern dealership group Travel Camp RV. I'm neither a lover or a hater of Camping World. I've talked to countless customers who have been burned by them, 
I'm a customer who's been burned by them, but I've also talked to so many who have been burned by other dealerships. There are good dealerships out there. We may just hear the worst about Camping World due to their sheer size and market share, but they do drive a lot of what happens in the RV industry and their rapid growth concerns me. And these new manufacturer exclusive stores, well, I'm not a fan at all. It's not entirely new. There have been Airstream only stores ran by other dealership chains for years and many dealers sell only Forest River or Thor products. But when you build the building and use Grand Design graphics and Grand Design colors and don't put Camping World on the sign, well, it's hard to argue that you're not trying to deceive the customer into thinking that they're buying directly from the manufacturer. Regardless of all that, I'm excited for these new Grand Design motorhomes. I think they'll be a really interesting addition to the market. The Winnebago Investor Conference call marked the end of the company's fiscal year with the company's sales down 30% over 2022 and net income down 45%. Despite the entire industry's difficulties over the last year, Winnebago has always seemed to me a company that has been very proactive about right-sizing production to the market. They anticipate dealer orders to improve as they prepare for the spring 2024 retail season, and they're seeing a monthly increase in orders over the last four months. The company says that at Open House, which is the fall event where manufacturers showcase their wares to dealers in Elkhart, Indiana, each of their three brands experienced an order increase over Open House of 2022. So they're pleased to see that in spite of what has been, and even was back then, a very tepid dealer ordering environment, they're improving. I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments, what you think about Grand Design getting into the motorhome biz, and what you think of them getting into bed with Camping World. As always, hit the like button if you got something out of this video. It's free to you, it takes a split second, and it means a lot to me. Check out the discount for Camp Life gear in the description, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.